Hey guys, Danny here, and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I am a musician, entrepreneur, creative, and disability advocate. This is going to be a pretty long video, but I promise you it's totally worth it. This is information that you won't see or hear anywhere else. So let's just jump into it. Here are the tips about your EPK that no one ever tells you. So, super quick for those who don't know, an EPK is short for an electronic press kit, and it's basically the thing that everyone uses to write stuff about you when you're a musician. It holds all the important information in kind of one document, and press and other media will use it to write about you, tweet about you, anything to do with you, essentially. And that kind of brings me into the very first thing that's super important to understand about your EPK that no one ever tells you. The truth is that the press is lazy. They are so, so lazy. And that's not a bad thing. If you think about it, if I could write an article about you in five minutes versus 30 minutes, what am I going to choose? Right? So they don't want to spend more time than they need to to write about you and you will get more people to write about you if you make it super easy. So that's tip number one. So the first thing that everyone tells you to include in your EPK is high quality photos, which is 100% true. You really do want to have high quality photos for your EPK because those are the photos that are going to be shared all across the internet by other publications when they're writing about you. But here's the thing that no one ever, ever mentions is that one photo doesn't necessarily work for all formats. So let's just take my current profile picture as an example. This is what it looks like. It looks fine. It, this is what I use across all my social media platforms. But let's say I was writing an article about you and I wanted to share a picture on my Instagram story about you. If I just downloaded this one photo, and then just put it natively on Instagram stories, this is what it would look like. And that's not very nice. And it's very frustrating if you have to be the one posting on social media to figure out how to make this image work for Instagram stories. Because your options are either leave it like this, or you can zoom it out so that there's bars, which doesn't look very nice either. You also have to take into account that you may be speaking at a panel or for like different music weeks and they may use your image in a circular format, a square format for like the actual Instagram feed. So what you really want to do is when you're having these photos taken and deciding which photos to put in your EPK, you want to take into account all of those different format sizes and have multiple images that work for those different format sizes. So the next thing that no one's ever telling you about putting photos in your EPK is actually how to title them and how to manipulate the metadata. Like I said, these press people are lazy. They don't want to spend extra time doing more work unnecessarily. So if you have photos in your EPK and I click to download them, have you ever thought about what title you have them saved as? Probably not. So what I would do to make your EPK even more professional and easy for the people who are looking at it is save them as the name of what it works best for. So say I have in my EPK a photo for the sizing of the Instagram feed and then a different photo for the sizing of Instagram stories. I would literally title that Danny Alexandria Instagram stories, for example, and then put the aspect ratio which is um, 1920 by 1080, I think, for Instagram stories, all in the title. I'll leave an example right here about what it would be titled, but you want to make sure that they can easily find it. So once it's in their downloads, they should be able to search up your name and know exactly what the image is, know exactly where you think it would best go so that they can just do their job so much faster. As for metadata, you as the musician don't really need to worry about this, but I would just mention it to whomever is taking and editing your photos that you want the metadata edited so that it makes it easier for press to give credit for the photo once they're putting it on different publications because they are required to. So the second thing people tell you to put in your EPK 
is your bio. And I have seen a bunch of people starting to say that you need to have multiple bios, but I haven't really seen anyone break down exactly what each of these bios you should have. I think that it's best to have three bios. The first one would be your long bio. It would have all of the details about your life and who you are and your journey in music. This is most likely gonna be the same bio that's on your about page on your website. The next one is gonna be what I call a medium bio. This should be about one paragraph that condenses everything that was in that long bio really short and would work well for articles if they're just introducing who you are as an artist. And the last bio is a super, super short bio. This is the bio that should be able to fit in a tweet or an Instagram caption or anything across social media. Just a super quick, like one or two sentences of who you are. Once again, these press people are lazy. If you want, when they're posting about you, for it to sound as good as possible, you need to be writing what they're gonna tweet about you already in your EPK. So they can just copy and paste. So everyone knows that it's super important to include your social media links in your EPK. You want to have your social presence known and it also allows the people who are writing about you to include them in any articles that they're writing about you. But here's the thing that no one ever tells you is that you should also include your handle next to the link to your social media. Because when a press person is about to tweet about you or on Instagram gonna post something about you. They don't wanna to have to click on the Instagram link to go to your page to see what your handle is and then copy and paste. They're gonna to wanna to just be able to copy and paste it straight from your EPK. Remember, these people are lazy, so you're gonna save them time by just having the handle already there so that the quick copy and paste can go on and they can have more time to either write better about you or write more about you. So this video is already getting a little bit long for my standards. So I'm going to break this up into two parts. So be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell notification in order to be notified when I post the second part to this video. And trust me, you're not going to want to miss these last tips. They're going to completely change the game for you and your EPK. I will see you guys next time. Bye.